All right. Today is Wednesday, March 14th, 2012. I'm 6 weeks on testosterone. Um yeah. So, it's been a couple weeks. I think I did a 4 week video. Um I don't know if I'm going to do them every week so much at this point. Um I don't know, maybe every couple weeks or um as things, I don't know, maybe bigger things happen, or if there's important things going on, but probably won't do every, every week, but I will keep you updated. But, yes, it's a big six-week video. I wrote down a little post-it note here of things to talk about. Things that I forgot in my last video. Um, my roommate, my roommate's over there. Her name's Kendra. She's waving. Um, she's not really my roommate anymore because she's mo moved out today. Aw, don't make it sad. Don't make it sad, she says. It's sad. Um, so, let's see. Things I forgot from my last video. Um, sex drive has increased. That's all I'm saying about it. Um, my grandparents watch this, watch these videos, so that's all I'm saying about it. Um, crying. I can cry, actually. It's, I didn't think I could, but I can. Um changes a little bit with when I can, I guess. But I can cry. So that's that's happened. Um, oh, this hairy armpit thing. So I've noticed that, like, it's my ha hairy armpits, sure. And, like, depending on the shirt that I'm wearing, like, when you're working out and it, like, rubs, it's really, un it can be uncomfortable, kind of. I hadn't previously experienced that. Um, so that's kind of weird, I guess. Um, what else did I forget? Slightly masculinization of the face has happened. It's probably kind of hard to tell. Maybe, I don't know if you look back at any of my, like, first, maybe, like, pre-T videos or something like that. So it's been six weeks. So there's some slight differences. Or, like, when I compare pictures, because I'm taking pictures pretty often almost every day, um, you can see those differences. I think it's harder to see when you see me really often but they're there, subtly. Um, so that's all I kind of forgot from the four-week video. Jumping up to pace now, um, I am up to point two for my dosage. My doctor said I could move up, so I did that last week. I have another appointment in a couple weeks with her, um, so we'll see if that happens. So that's nice. Um, helps mentally a lot. To have upped my dose a little bit. Um, so changes. Oh, I'll get into the court stuff later changes uh the voice i don't think sometimes people say it's deeper i really don't think it is so much in the morning it is for like a couple hours uh no i don't know where it is my roommate's looking for a cell phone <laughs> do you want me to call it uh, sure. okay i'm gonna hold on I should probably stop the video but i'm just gonna call it really quick to try to help out um no i don't even know where i was this is not good i i can't find it okay i'm calling it okay sorry um, oh yeah, the voice. So in the morning for like a couple hours, it'll be kind of different. Um, it'll crack a little bit or it'll kind of get stuck or it'll feel like I have a cold that's been happening for a little bit. She found it. She found her phone. Just want everyone to know. Good! Um, so I'm hoping that that just kind of drops pretty soon because that would be really nice. I'm hoping in the March would be solid. I don't know. Anyway. So the voice would be kind of nice. The facial hair. Alright. You're not going to be able to see it. So I'm not even going to try to show you. But, one, this this little dirty stash thing going on here is getting a little longer. It is getting longer. It's grow growing in faster. I have, like, the beard is coming in. I have, like, three little guys. Like, three tiny little hairs that are, like, right here. I've got a couple tiny little guys over here. Um... The sideburn area, they're starting to, it's just starting to expand a little bit. Like, not like deep, dark sideburns, but like, it's, it's, you can't see it on the camera, you can't see it. But, I can see it when I look in the mirror, like, 80 times a day when that happens, because I'm checking to see if anything's changed. Um, so that, that has happened, that, that change. I've gotten hairier all the way around. I have gotten hairier. Um, we already decided upon the leg thing, it's just not going to work for a little while, but... 
Um, maybe there's like tiny little like holes on my hands, like hair holes. I think that camera's really close. I apologize about that, everybody. Um, I don't know. There's little stuff, I guess. Um, it's kind of the big things, I guess. Um, also, I came out to like the student senate last week at the place that I worked, like 40 people or so. That was a big group of people. It went over really well, but it was kind of scary. There's also going to be like an article in the, the newsletter that goes out at work at the university that I work at. So that'll help with people knowing, but um, so that, that's a good thing. It's, it's cool. They're really supportive there. So that's exciting. Um, so the court stuff. My court date is this coming Monday, the 19th. My sister will be here. How exciting. For my name change and hopefully gender marker change, I know I've explained this in previous videos, kind of what I've done so far, how it kind of works. Um, what I did, God, it's just kind of, I'm, it'll be nice when that piece is over. Um, but I've taken what I gave to the court, because so I had to get another background check. So I went and did that. So they needed like two of them. Um, and then I put in some previous court cases, like a couple friends from Ramsey County, in terms of their gender marker stuff being able to change. But they asked for their birth records to change because they're both from Minnesota, so that worked. But I stuck those in. I stuck some other court cases in that I had gotten from out from Minnesota um, on, like, Minnesota court ordering other states to change birth records or g gender stuff because I didn't realize that... A one state can court order another state to do something, so I originally did not file for that, and, um, but I think I can add it, because you can bring stuff to the hearing, but I'm from Iowa, and Iowa does not, you have to have a letter from your, from an SRS, from Sexual Reassignment Surgeon, in order to change the birth certificate, the gender on your birth certificate, but you can change the name, so I can ask Minnesota to court order a name change on my birth certificate, so I'll ask for that whenever I would do that, or have that happen, if I do that, I guess. Um, so I've kind of gone back and forth recently, but anyways, I'm still going to get it all done in one, so then it's there when I want it. Um, but yeah, so I added all that stuff in there, a letter from my doctor, um, and so I put all that in the envelope and I got that to them last week, um, because I needed that a, a week before my court date. So fingers crossed everything goes well. I feel optimistic about it. I'm feeling better about it. I think they're really sick of me calling them about this whole thing, but I'm like on this. I've run a first name basis with the clerk over there. Bertha and I are on first name basis. She's like, you call every week. I'm like, I know, but anyways, I'm her favorite person now. They're just going to give me, as I think Aiden, what Aiden said this, Aiden or Miles, AJ told me that Aiden or Miles said that they're probably just going to like give me everything that I want so I stop calling them, which is probably true. Um, so yeah, that's kind of all I got, though. I will probably make a video about the name change stuff and when that's happening, um, at that time. But I'm really tired right now, and I need to go to bed or try. Um, not a whole lot, I guess, in the way of changes, but just a little hairier. So we'll, we'll hopefully that'll start changing a little bit here soon. So that's my six-week update. Six weeks, yay. And, uh... We'll be back with the name change. So hopefully, chances are the next time I see you, camera, um, I will legally be Kale Joseph Clark, which will be fantastic, and then we can get on changing all this other stuff. So, that being said, uh, we'll see you next week. Over and out.